The race for governor of New York has barely begun, and it's already testy. Westchester County Executive Rob Astorino wins the Republican nomination. And as CBS 2's Marsha Kramer reports, he casts Governor Cuomo as a dictatorial big brother in a new campaign movie. No one needs ten bullets to kill a deer. It was eerie. State Republicans casting Governor Andrew Cuomo as big brother in a takeoff on the George Orwell book 1984 that was made into a movie. If upstate New York were a state itself, it would rank dead last under this governor. It was the opening salvo in Westchester County Executive Rob Astorino's underdog attempt to defeat Cuomo and deprive him of re-election to a second term. And I can't wait to call Rob Governor Astorino. From using former Governor George Pataki, who defeated Cuomo's father Mario to an attack on how Cuomo's living girlfriend Sandra Lee didn't get building permits to improve their Mount Kisco home, Astorino pulled out all the stops. The digs at Sandra Lee subtle, Astorino talking about how his wife Sheila wanted to redo their kitchen. But you know what we found out? This is unbelievable. You actually need building permits to make home improvements. <laughs> anyway, you know that? Astorino called for an end to Cuomo's unpopular Common Core curriculum and said he would support term limits for lawmakers and the governor. But there was none of the usual partisan rhetoric about abortion and gay marriage. Astorino's pitch was all about New York as a high-tax state. New York has the highest property taxes in America, 50th out of 50. It has the highest overall tax burden, 50th out of 50. Pundits say it's part of a strategy to broaden Astorino's appeal. This was a candidate and a party that was on its best ideological behavior. They avoided hot button issues, and this is all about appealing, softening the party image. Demonstrators from women's and other groups tried to remind people about the GOP's core issues. Next week, it's the Democrats' turn. Governor Andrew Cuomo will be nominated to run for a second term. But the big question, who will he tap as his running mate? In Rybrook, New York, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. <laughs>